Hi everyone, this is Sister Teresa coming to you today with another word of encouragement. Hallelujah, glory to God, brothers and sisters. I hope and pray that this video finds you blessed and in good spirits and encouraged on today because this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anyhow, whatever you're going through, just remember that Jesus loves you and Jesus is with you and he cares. He cares about you. He cares for you. God is truly good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just wanted to come and give you all an encouraging word. God is so good, brothers and sisters. He is so good. Here it is, December 31st, 2023, the last day of the year. And we are still alive and we have made it to see December 31st. And if it be the Lord Jesus Christ will, we will see the new year come in. Hallelujah. If it's God's will, we must always say if it's the Lord's will, because tomorrow is not promised to us. The next second is not promised to us. Surely we are living in the last days, people of God. We are living in the last days and, and time is short. And all the things that are occurring on this planet, all these things occurring at the same time, the wars breaking out and the things are getting worse. It's getting worse. These wars are getting worse. Everything is getting worse and it's not getting better. Normal is not coming back. Jesus is coming back and he's coming back for his church and for a people who have made themselves ready. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we must be ready if we want to go back with the Lord Jesus Christ when he comes to receive his church as he said he would. And the word of God calls it caught up. If you want to be caught up with the Lord and changed and be with the Lord Jesus Christ for eternity, in heaven, you must be ready. And if you are not ready, you will be left behind to face the great tribulation on this earth. And it will be terrible. And I would not wish that upon anybody. So we must be ready. Tomorrow's not promised to us. Not the next second is promised to us. Nothing is promised. Hallelujah. But today, but right now. This is what we have today. Okay? And Jesus loves you. I want to give you a verse of scriptures, brothers and sisters. It is in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. And it is a powerful scripture. It tells us that the Lord, he goes away to prepare a place for us. That where he is, we shall be also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I just would like to read this, brothers and sisters. I have my Bible. And this verse of scripture is found in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. Okay? And if you have your Bible, please read along with me if you would like. And the word of the Lord reads, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? 
Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said that, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. He goes to prepare a place for us, people of God, brothers and sisters, and we must be ready. His word is true. Time is short. Time is short, brothers and sisters. There's no time to waste. There's no time to play around and willful sin. There's no time to waste. God has been patient. He's been long-suffering with us all. We must be ready. If you want to have your heavenly home, you must be ready, brothers and sisters, because time is short. And I hope and pray that we are all ready Hallelujah, because hell is forever. Hell is eternity. And I would not wish that upon anybody, not even my worst enemy. And God is the only way. Jesus is the only way to heaven, brothers and sisters. And I hope and pray in Jesus' name that we all make it. And that this year, if we shall live to see, if it be the Lord's will for us to enter in to the new year of 2024, that we be blessed. It'll be a blessed year. And I don't believe in making New Year's resolutions. I believe in living each day for the Lord. Hallelujah. And living right and living holy before the Lord. And that we shall live a good, holy life before our Savior each and every day. Take it one day at a time. Hallelujah. And walk the straight and the narrow path which leads to eternal life. And the way is straight and the way is narrow. Make no mistake about it, brothers and sisters. Do not be deceived into thinking you can do everything you want to do and still make it into heaven. That is a lie. It is the deception of the enemy. It is a trick of the enemy. And do not fall for it. The way is straight and narrow, the word of the Lord says. And we must walk the straight and narrow path as the Lord says we must do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. So I just wanted to come and give you all a word to encourage you in this last day of 2023. This is the last day. And I hope and pray that we make it if we're not raptured first, brothers and sisters, because time is short. So just be encouraged. Hold on to the Lord. Have a blessed and happy new year if the Lord allows us to see it. And God be with you all. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, so be blessed. Be encouraged. And look up, brothers and sisters, for our redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Remember, Jesus loves you all. He really and truly does. He cares. Jesus loves you, and so do I. So have a blessed day. Until we talk again, brothers and sisters, God bless.